We finished the first part of the lab. We've done our estimates on the graphs. We've recorded our data points at the bottom. Uh, each class period is gonna be slightly different, so don't write these ones down in particular. If you flip that paper over, you will see person A uh, graph paper, and then you're going to be recording each of these points on that graph paper. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. So what we're going to do is I'm going to highlight the uh, all the meter marks. These are the parts of the floor that were taped off and where the people were stopping their stopwatches at these points. Those are indicated on the graph by the distance side of the graph. We have the 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. I'm going to write down the zero down here because it's not labeled. You can add that, but you can also just know that the bottom line, that is zero. So our first point we're going to plot is zero, zero, because that's the starting point for our graph. So you look over at zero and zero and you put a dot. That was our easiest one we can find. Okay, make it a nice big dot so it's easy to find. You can use a marker if you'd like or a pencil to start off so that way if you make any mistakes. Next, we're going to do our five meter mark line. And when we go over the five meter, we're going to go down to person A. And at five meters, it took them two seconds to go to the five meter mark. So we're going to go up over to up to the five meter mark and then mark at the two. So there's the two seconds and the five meter mark. And where that meets, we're going to draw a nice big dot. And then we're done with the five meter mark for person A. Now to the 10 meter mark, 10 meter mark. It took them three seconds to get to the 10 meter mark. So now back to the graph for person A, go up to the 10 meter mark, go over to the proper amount of time. Now, again, your graph will not look exactly like mine. Do not use my exact numbers. This depends on what person was running um, and what class period it was. So do not copy exactly what I have. Use the data from your class period. So here you can see I, I've marked on that 10 meter uh, mark for three seconds. Now we're gonna go 15 meters, go up to that dark line that indicates 15 meters, and then go over to the four second mark. You can see how I'm following that line. Now again, I'll put a nice big dark dot so it's nice and easy to see, and I will uh, eventually connect these dots. 20 meters, it took us five seconds to go, whatever student this was running. It took them five seconds to go 20 meters. So we're gonna go over to the five, put a nice big dot. Now the five is in between the four and the six. It's not labeled as a five, but five is right between four and six. Now at 25, we have six and a half. So we're gonna go up to 25 and go over to six, and then just give a little over between six and seven, and that's six and a half. So if you look, if you go down all the way to the bottom, you will see that's right between six and seven. Seven would be right here. If I were to, if, we're, if I were to label it, that's where it would be. And we're gonna go all the way up to 25 meters and label our point on that line. Okay. Now our last point that we're gonna do for this graph is 30 meters and eight seconds. So we're going to go back over to the graph and make sure we're on the person A graph. Go up to 30 meters and then over to eight seconds. I'll mark that and we're all good. Now we can connect these lines with a straight edge or I'm just doing it freehand because I'm recording this. So it's hard to do all of that at one time. So um, this is totally acceptable uh, for me and you can connect those dots. Remember this person's running so take note of the shape of the graph and what that looks like when you're answering questions later on. Now I have done person A, so I'm gonna check that off so I don't have to do anything else in that column. Now I'm gonna move on to person B. So all of the data in the person B uh, line, that row there, that's where I'm gonna graph everything here. This is where the person was walking. So the graph is gonna look slightly different. Okay, we're gonna check to see maybe was I right if they were walking at a constant speed. That's what I thought it would look like. Now we're gonna use these points on that second row and do five meters and four seconds. Ten.